Hey, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Dakota Lee, and I like to talk about my life and experiences and trauma and what I've learned in hopes that it will help other people as well. Sometimes I just like to chat about things that I like to chat about. So this is something we need to talk about because I've really had an issue with this probably in the last year or two of my life, more so than any other time in my life. You do not owe anybody anything. Originally, my idea to talk about this was about you not owing anybody your free time. But I'm going to extend that into you don't owe anybody anything, period. So I'll start with my original idea. You don't owe anybody your free time. I don't even really believe in this idea of free time. Even if I'm off from one job, I usually have a gig or I wind up doing something for social media or something, you know, that is productive towards what I'm trying to do with my life and my business. Just because I have time doesn't mean I'm not doing things with it. I might be going to the grocery store. I always go to the gym. I might be exercising my dog or giving her a bath or running errands, cleaning my apartment. I've had a pretty big issue with people being annoyed that like I don't give them my free time. Like if I have a day off, who's to say that I owe you that time? Cause I don't. And I think it's really weird that people take it personally when you don't do something for them but you're doing something for yourself, like self-care. Or like I've had, you know, coworkers that would get pissed because like I have a night off and I didn't help them out. Like it's my night. <laughs> like if I don't want to play a gig on my day off, like I don't want to, that's okay. It doesn't make me an asshole. If I don't want to pick up a shift on a day that I'm off, that's my right. It's my free time. Whatever I choose to do with it is on me. And I think it's really weird that people take it personally. Like I don't have this issue with my close friends, obviously because we're adults and we understand boundaries. Even if I just text my best friend and say, hey, I really just want to lay down and do nothing today. She's like, yeah, totally get it. No worries. I get it more from people who are like acquaintances or people who want to spend time with me, which I appreciate, but you cannot pour from an empty cup. I'm already giving so much of my energy to all of the things that I'm doing and I'm doing a lot. And I'm also in a time in my life where I'm like very motivated and dedicated and I'm working and I'm saving my money. And obviously I'm about to move back to New Jersey. Like I have a lot of things going on and I'm trying to stay motivated and focused. And sometimes that means just doing my own thing. It doesn't mean that I don't want to see people or I don't want to do something or go somewhere. Like obviously I need balance, but I get to choose how I spend that time. And I think a lot of people think that just because someone isn't busy, means that that time could be allotted for them or for other things. I don't have kids for a reason because right now I want to be selfish with my time and my personal development and things that I want to accomplish and do in my life. So <laughs> there's a reason I'm just not around. Like sometimes I just need to be on my own. It's okay to just take a day and lay on the fucking couch if you want to. It's nobody's business really. And if people are getting upset with you because of how you choose to spend your time, I don't think those people deserve to really stay too close to you in your life. In general, I think a lot of this generation, or I wanna even say the generation after me because I don't necessarily have this issue and I don't really see many of my friends either, but people think they're owed something. They think that the world owes them something. They think that people owe them something. They think that if they had a shit life, they deserve something more or something better. Like. I hate to say it and this is going to sound negative, but it's not negative. It's just like you get what you get and you do the best with it. You know, most of us have been dealt a shit hand and on Facebook and on social media, you see like all the highlights of everybody's life, but that's not reality. I've gotten really good within the last year of setting boundaries. If I don't want to do something, if I don't want to go somewhere, if I don't respond to someone right away. If I change my mind, I can't tell you how many times I've made plans on like one of my days off. And then when it comes to the day off, I'm like, you know what? I have other stuff to do, or I just need to chill. I need to take a mental health day. Like I said, you cannot pour from an empty cup. So I think it's more important to take care of yourself than it is to necessarily worry about everyone else. And this is coming from someone who is a people pleaser and a giver and a giver and a giver until I was empty many times over. So now I've learned these boundaries as to not do that to myself. It takes practice. I've had um, like situations too where people drank too much and asked me to pick them up a hundred times and then would get mad like the hundred and one time when I was like, no. That is like a form of manipulation, you know, making someone feel bad for not doing something that they don't really owe you anyway. 
you gotta watch out for people who play victim in a problem that they created themselves. That's that's a whole nother video though, you know? I just don't like when people make me feel guilty for doing what's best for me. And it took me a really long time to stop giving a shit. Now I do what's best for me and I do what I wanna do and I really don't feel bad about it nine out of 10 times. If I do feel bad about it, it's because I'm an empathetic person or it's someone I really care about or I intended to do something for this person and then I just couldn't. Other than that, I'm, I'm good with just doing my own thing. You know, I'm there for my circle of people. My circle of people are there for me. And anyone outside of that circle, it's like, you know what, if I have the time and the energy, like sure. I'm unfortunately a recovering people pleaser, so I like to do things for people. But I've really had to like pull it back in the last year because I was just giving so much of myself, even to work. Like I would get calls, you know, for gigs or for whatever. And I just, I'm like, I'm too tired. But then I'd be like, oh, well, I could use the money or let me just do it. And then, and then I'm exhausted for two days instead of one. And it just, it's okay to say no. If people choose to take you setting a boundary personally, like that's on them. When people tell me no or cancel on me, I do not take it personally because I've been on the other side of that so many times. It's called having empathy. It's called understanding another human being and how they might be feeling or what they're going through. I don't like to come on here and make like preachy videos or I think sometimes it comes off as me having, you know, an attitude, but I'm just from New Jersey, I'm sassy. But I'm passionate and I've been through a lot of shit and I've put myself through a lot of shit by not having boundaries or not being stronger for myself or choosing the best thing for myself. And like, I'm done with that. I'm gonna be 31 tomorrow and we are gonna crush our 30s. My 30s are gonna be amazing. I'm excited about it. I think I'm gonna be the best version of myself. I think I'm gonna have the most fun. I think I'm gonna have the most growth. But a big part of it is like, now I do what's best for me and I do what I wanna do. I do what I don't wanna do and I don't feel bad about it. And I think more people need to get there because we're seeing a lot of burnout. Right now, times are a little weird. I think it's also hard for people to do things for themselves. Like I spent my whole life doing shit for other people and some of it I had no choice in, right? Like some of it's your family, you gotta do what you gotta do. But then like I've stayed in relationships longer than I should have. I've done things for people because I didn't want them to hurt, but in the end, I was really just shorting myself. On the other side of this, I'm so much happier, so much more fulfilled. I'm filling my reservoir, as we say. Anyway, I just wanted to make this video as a reminder to take care of yourself first. Don't feel guilty for doing what's best for you. At the end of the day, you're all you've got. You've gotta to go to sleep with yourself. You've gotta live with yourself. You've gotta wake up with yourself, etc. That's that. Thank you guys so much for watching, for listening. Comment below, say hi. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I've been putting out videos more regularly. I'm starting to feel a lot better about it instead of burnt out because I'm setting boundaries. Uh, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.